If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith. Never did any passage of scripture come with more power to the heart of man than this did at this time to mine. It seemed to enter with great force into every feeling of my heart. I reflected on it again and again, knowing that if any person needed wisdom from God, I did. For how to act, I did not know. The Almighty is telling us that our eternal salvation... The teachers of religion understood the same passage of Scripture so differently as to destroy all confidence in settling the question by an appeal to the Bible. I often found the scriptures. At length, I came to the conclusion that I must either remain in darkness and confusion, or else I must do as James directs, that is, ask of God. After I had retired to the place where I had previously designed to go, finding myself alone, I kneeled down and began to offer up the desires of my heart. I saw a pillar of light above the brightness of the sun, which descended gradually until it fell upon me. When the light rested upon me, I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description. One of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, Joseph, this is my beloved son. Hear him. My object in going to inquire of the Lord was to know which of all the sects was right. I was answered that I must join none of them, and many other things did he say unto me.
Mother! There are no such things as visions and revelations in these days. I don't blame anyone for not believing my history. If I had not experienced what I have, I would not believe it myself. It was nevertheless a fact that I had beheld a vision. I had actually seen a light. And in the midst of that light, I saw two personages. And they did in reality speak to me. I knew it. And I knew that God knew it. And I could not deny it. The truth of any work can be seen in the blessings which flow from it. Joseph had been called of God. He had a work to do. Through him, the Lord revealed new scripture, a record which contained a fullness of the gospel. There shall be no other name given it was translated through the gift the and power of God. Only in and through the name of Christ. The Lord and published as the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Mr. Smith. And if ye shall ask with a sincere heart, having faith in Christ, he will manifest the truth of it unto you by the power of the Holy Ghost. And by the power of the Holy Ghost, ye may know the truth of all things. Through his living prophet, the Lord restored his church. The fullness of the gospel was available again in beautiful simplicity. Wherefore, I the Lord, knowing the calamity which should come upon the inhabitants of the earth, called upon my servant Joseph Smith, Jr., and spake unto him from heaven, and gave unto him commandments, that the fullness of my gospel might be proclaimed unto the ends of the world.